Welcome to the second part of getting set up for Ubuntu development. In this section we're going to set up a GPG key or create one I should say. Um, a GPG key is used to sign packages so when you create a package or when you um, make changes to a package and then put them back to your launch pad um, it means that um, everyone else can verify who it was done by. So whoever whoever's name, whoever's contact details are on the GPG key, that's who um, has signed it. Okay, so to make a GPG key, we just issue the command GPG dash dash gen, whoops, where is he? Key. GPG dash dash gen key. Um, for this part here, for Ubuntu development, um, the default RSA and RSA is fine. However, if you look into um, um, contribute to Debian or something like that, they have stricter policies, so you'll have to look at some of their um, their documentation. Um, key size, um, obviously 4096 is better, um, it's stronger, however it does take a lot longer to um, generate and to sign each time, so unless you've got an incredibly old computer with an ancient Oprah, um, processor, you should go with 4096, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do just the default. Um, the key is just fine to leave to not expire, so zero is fine. Yes, this is correct. Real name, we're going to use Gregory Patton or Payton. Payton. Email address, Gregory Payton at gmail.com. Comment can be left blank. Yes, this is okay. Um, passphrase, um, obviously, you've probably been told a hundred million times, but use. Um, uppercase, lowercase, um, symbols, numbers, etc. Just make it fairly strong. Because at the end of the day, if it's compromised, A, you'll have to make up a new one, and B, um, it may question some of the integrity of some of the packages towards the end if it has been compromised. So um, I guess it's just a prevention thing, just to make sure it's um, strong enough in the first place. So this part here, um, is basically the boring part, the part that you have to wait. Um, you should just sit at your computer, um, open up YouTube or something like that. Um, we'll have a look at some of the Ubuntu development so, um, interviews, I should say. Um, and this will just hopefully generate a few things that will still need 278. been talks over how many UDNs is now about moving to one yeah. point to, to some greater size. So here's what's gonna happen. We already even said it before yeah. you know. <laughs> You're going to ship GNOME 3.5. No it's not. Yeah. 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 We said we are going to ship Kadeem by the end of this cycle. <laughs> Great, so that's all done. Um, you'll just be put back to a prompt and um, you have all this GPG information up the top here. Um, the only part that you have to worry about too much at the moment is this key ID. These eight characters right here, copy. We need to invoke the command GPG dash dash send keys and then copy and paste or just copy the um, key over. And it shouldn't really take too long, but basically this is just sending the key to one of the key servers, so um, Launchpad will be able to pick it up. Um, and now it's done, fine, awesome. Um, when that, that'll take a while, um, anywhere between instant and an hour. Um, but um, you'll go to Launchpad and then in the GPG keys page, which you'll be able to, they'll find a link on your Launchpad homepage. Um, you just um, copy this um, fingerprint, copy paste, and then um, put it into the input box um, on the GPG keys page. Um, if you find that you can't remember this information or you got out of your terminal, you can just do GPG dash dash fingerprint, 
um, and it'll come up with the different parts anyway. Um, you don't have to worry about this part here. It's only the eight digits of the actual key ID that you have to um, remember to add into the key server. Thanks for watching. Um, next tutorial, we'll be looking at um, generating an SSH key.